everybody, Dr. D here, welcome back. Uh, you know, dental implants are a great way to replace missing teeth and it's really used a lot these days. But what I find out is many people really don't know much about them. So in this video, I'm going to discuss in very simple terms, five things you need to know about dental implants before you sign up to get one. So let's get started. So the first thing you really need to know is what a dental implant actually is. And I'm going to start with the most simple one, which is replacement of a single missing tooth. The implant itself is really a screw that gets placed in the bone and actually integrates or connects to the bone. It stays beneath the gum and acts like the root of a tooth. And on top of that structure is placed the single tooth or crown. Note the implant, the what's called the abutment, and the crown. The second thing you need to know is that there are two types of materials that implants are made from. Discuss with your doctor whether titanium or the newer ceramic or zirconia implant materials are best for you. You may want to consider ceramic or zirconia implants. They don't have any metal and they're very good for people who have metal sensitivities. Plus they are very aesthetic if you are replacing a front tooth. I often get asked that once the implant is put in, how long before I can use it? And what do I do in the meantime? On average, placing implants in the upper jaw take about six months. And that's usually because the bone is less dense and you may need to build up the bone as well. As opposed to the upper jaw, the lower jaw would take about three months because the bone is really, really dense. However, you may need to build up the bone, which could add up months to the process. When you're getting an implant, the biggest decision is who is going to do the procedure? Well, there are certain questions you need to ask. Number one is how many have they done? What is their experience? What kind of training have they had? Are they a weekend? Was it a couple year program? Also, do they restore the implants? Uh, but most of all, you want to make sure that you get references from a very satisfied patient. And if things don't agree with you, get a second opinion. Finally, the cost. Ah uh, yes, they are expensive. Prices can range from as little as $1,000 to $3,000 plus, and that's only the implant. You also have to consider the cost of any temporary treatment, plus you have to consider the cost of the restoration itself, and depends on who you choose to do the work. So is it worth it? A lot of money? A lot of time? Well, you bet it is. You're going to be able to smile again. You can eat better, look better, but most importantly, you're going to feel good about yourself. So there you have it. Implants in a nutshell. I hope you found this video to be informative, to give you insight into the world of dental implants, to help give you the power to become an informed consumer. So check out our other video to learn more about implants and other holistic views on dentistry, overall health. Share this with your family, friends. Check out our links and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching and see you soon.